Hey, come on in. It's another day and another chance to sparkle. So keep a sparkle in your eye and a sparkle in your heart because it makes you beautiful. Let me show you the mountains. All of the trees are just about there. But it is nice and warm here today. I mean, I have this on just because. I don't even know if I'll get to wear it this winter. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I don't even think I got it right. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Anyway, enough of that. Let's look at the mountains. Mountains are beautiful. They're hazy today. Nice little breeze blowing. Not too hot, not too cold. You could sit on the porch today and have a nice cup of hot chocolate or a nice cup of um, coffee, wine, whatever. I'm trying out a new lipstick I got for my birthday gift from Sephora. It's by Bite. And it is called, if I can see it, it's called Glace. It's very pretty, I think. It looks like a nude. But on the lips, it's darker. And I paired it up with a Revlon Colorstay um, lip liner in nude just like this and it it just paired up really really nice so that it's very comfortable um, first time I heard about um, bite lipstick um, was from Sherry A the eyes have it um, yeah she um, loves this lipstick so I'm glad I got it I did try the balm I'm not crazy about that it's too thick and I think I might try the other thing that they talked about now I wanted to come in today and say happy Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is this week y'all like my new hair color anyway Thanksgiving is this week coming and I wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving and tell you a story about Thanksgivings. We never had Thanksgiving at our house when I was a little girl. We always went to Grandma's house and in her living room, oh, she always, let me tell you about the table first, she always put out on her dining room table beautiful, beautiful spread. I mean, it was like her finest china, her finest silverware cloth napkins. Grandma never used paper napkins. Always cloth napkins. And she always, the table always looked elegant and beautiful. I'm telling you, that's where I got my um, little bit of elegance that I have and candles on the table and just everything, um, you know, just beautiful. Grandma was a very elegant lady. I called her Granny, but we'll call her Grandma right now. But anyway, she's a very elegant lady. She belonged to the Eastern Star. I believe I've told you all about her before. And um, I was very, very close to her. She is where I always wanted to wear makeup. She always gave me her makeup because she always looked so put together and beautiful. And I wanted to be like my Granny. She... Uh, always wore a dress with an apron unless she was going to church with a, a heel a heel about that size and she done her housework in that she always looked put together always had some kind of jewelry on earrings on um, you know always looked beautiful when she went to church she always had a nice hat on always looked beautiful I wish I had pictures to show you but I didn't take pictures when I was a little girl, and I didn't get any after I got married. So, anyway, Grandma always had, the table was beautiful. She put lots of card tables around for everybody because we had cousins and um, dad's cousins, our little cousins, just everyone extended family there was probably 50 people at grandma's house on the holidays and there was always great grandpa and grandpa and grandmas and great grandmas and great uncles and uncles and just all kinds of people and grandma always had chairs lined up she had the couch and the chair the 
you know, the, the living room was like it was, but she always took folding chairs and put in between each chair so everybody could set. And she always brought out the big boxes of pictures and everybody would go through photos and hand them to the next person. It's just memories. My mom never had Thanksgiving at our house. She never, that I know of, had a party had a Thanksgiving at our house, had anything at our house. It was always at Grandma's house. Of course, Grandma's house was so elegant and beautiful. Um, Grandma always painted before Christmas. She always painted in the fall and in the spring. And I can remember how she decorated. She always had poinsettias going up the the staircase that sparkled and I just loved it. I mean I loved the way that my grandmother would decorate her house and we always had such wonderful wonderful foods and after we ate dinner for Thanksgiving um, we always um, had music we always had games. The kids would play games and the adults would play cards, the men. The women always chit-chatted in the living room or in the kitchen while they were doing dishes. So just a traditional, traditional um, kitchen. Now, I mean, um, Thanksgiving. Now, Grandma never had her, th her Christmas decorations up at Thanksgiving like they do now. We always gave thanks. We always did Thanksgiving and didn't rush Christmas in. We're forgetting about Thanksgiving now. People are so wanting to get to Christmas. And I want to just stop and give thanks for the, some of the things that I have. Some of the things that I'm thankful for is a roof over my head. I'm thankful for all of you that love me and tell me you love me. And friends that that I've made on YouTube. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful to have a job and thankful to have people that love me and thankful that the Lord saved me and by His grace I wake up every morning. I'm thankful for all those things. In the comments below tell me a few things you're thankful for. Also I need your prayers. I want to uh, the job that I was originally going after when I got this job at the nursing home is coming open and I'm hoping to get it. So you all pray that if it's the Lord's will, I'll get that job. And that's what I want to pray, that if it's God's will that I have that job, that I'll get it. You all have a wonderful, wonderful, safe Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Sunday on the porch, hopefully, if it's beautiful like it is now. It's just about time to start going in the kitchen and telling stories in there or doing something else. So we'll see. And I love you guys, and don't forget, at the end of every storm is a beautiful rainbow. I love you guys forever. Bye.